Welcome back to this electric edge. My name's Yorick for the purpose of this little tale. Oh cool. And we're talking to the man himself. The original vampire that taught us how to live in this crazy world of dark and shadows. How's it hanging, Jack? Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? I followed the bloody road I was set upon. What do you seek, demon? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, kid. You're not reporting for duty here, so loosen up, okay? We're just chatting. Comprende? It seems all the demons are demanding their due. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> <laughs> know you the Elizabeth Dane, the ship of slaughter. Why? Planning on visiting? The prince sends me to its hellish hall. Oh, really? That is my path. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? You know, come to mention it, I don't think he mentioned a damn thing about it. Only shadows of secrets. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Tell me of this curious coffin. The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the root. And for centuries, he's been sawing logs. Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. Ah, uh, and a horrendous hunger he will have. It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Do you believe this bulldog? Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Munsters. They weren't my favorite. I was a bigger fan of the Adams Family, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, Morticia. You are like the perfect woman. Why did the Jester send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Why does the Jester fear the Chateau of Nines? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents were born in a poor room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Hmm. Have you public relations propensities? Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. Why does the Jester fear the Shadow of Nines? Isn't he chief? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. Hmm. LaCroix is the boss. <laughs> That's rich. Hmm. Don't you follow the codes of the Camarilla? Ha 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 Ah, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. So when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. 
Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Who oh, were you, Jack? I wonder. Even a jester may parade in the king's cloak. Facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into this bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Are the little demons jumping? Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. Who is we? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. It does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. I seek knowledge of these Anarchs, children of entropy. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Power is knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situations ever going to be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. How to win such a Gordian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Does Nine share your grisly visions? You bet, kid. Hmm. Is Nine's the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nine's is a stand up guy, he takes the politics a little too seriously. Though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain wired to that shit. And the rest of the wolves that run with nines. Ooh, your words also betray a pleasure for politics. Me? I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn, it's up to them. Hmm. What blood runs in your veins? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. May I mind your gray matter? Moving right along. Let me see. He's told me about the Sabat. He clearly has no love of the Camarilla. That's, That's us. So I'm told get a bit more specific with the Anarchs. Much as anyone. Skip. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. I'm pretty sure Nine's is also Bruja, but let's ask. Bruja. Yeah. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell. Well, let's see what's upstairs. We've met Helter Skelter, we've met Jack again. And apparently he's been around for a while. He's been quite the rebel even when he was alive the first time. What about you? What did you just say? I didn't say much, apparently, damsel. So that chased you in here, Cammy? You are the damsel of distress, yes? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass! Oh, damsel. You've got a cuteness to you. Maybe it's, uh, the Green Beret. The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. 
I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do boy for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of kid sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? Something is plaguing you. What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Help my mind digest this creature. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Yeah, I noticed them standing around with their bio suits on. Hmm. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together well, I do two have a shotgun. And two, as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Incomparable, kind of mission impossible to say that you love me. Such a catchy song. Hmm. I will roll it down my brain and see if it sticks. Another question. Yeah. The number for a name. No one like him in this world or the next. He's to the annals that George Washington was to the colonies, that Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the LA Anarchs personified. He's a great leader, and yet, he's humble. I die. I think she has a thing for nines. He wears no face, but his own in a city of masks. No one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? The Jack in the Box that smiles incessantly. Jack? Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. I mean... Yes, his beard is hypnotic. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. Talk to Jack. He's never short on chat. I could believe him being a pirate. Easily. Oh, good grief. What if he was Blackbeard? I mean, that would could make sense. With the beard and all. I wonder something yeah. else. The Jester in his ivory tower. Who the hell does he think he is coming into town claiming Camarilla authority over the city? We kicked them out 60 years ago. It's like England coming back and telling the U.S. how they should do things. Fuck LaCroix. Hmm. How can you not like a jester? My mind ponders this elsewhere. Hey, I, heard that. I said it. Hello, Nines. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. More. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power, then those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out too is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. The prince is not the head vampire. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. 
Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. It's the same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Free state? Well, I usually just walk off with stuff anyhow. Although Nines has a point. I mean, this is the same. That was kind of the same stuff that's been happening here in America in the last 15 years. Ever since the big business buyout on taxpayer dollar. That was a little bull. It's a shame. Uh, what was it? Uh, that gathering that was in uh, Central Park. I can't remember the name of it now. It might come to me later. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Meet with them. Baloney all around. I got their meeting right here. You and the Prince don't golf on the weekends. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Are you the Prince of Thieves, and are these your merry men? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. My mind is still soft. Any shape I should set it in. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Teach me the razzmatazz. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. It makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists, and put your weight into your punches. Huzzah! Free boxing lessons. Interesting words. I shall say for them. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Dick. Squishy. Oh, sweet. We got free boxing lessons. I'm still weak as hell for a vampire. But... Hey, Misty. At least it should get a little easier to feed on people. It was getting rough there for a minute. Trying to hold on to people that didn't want to get held on to. Reanimated. Judas's House Studios presents From Heck. Could just go with hell, huh? Aw, I can't use them. Not anymore, anyways. And then I escape out the window. Actually, didn't Damsel have something about uh, 
Oh, I guess I can sneak up that way. I'll keep that in mind next time. You can raise your vanity like any other character stat by expending experience. I'm sanely enough. You, you had something else oh, on your head. Yeah. Aside from that green beret. I will hunt this carrier pigeon for you. Where do I point my arrow? One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. If he will not listen to reason, perhaps he will listen to the crack of my hand. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I wonder if something from your mind first. Yeah? Do you know the warlike chief? He says you children spread disease. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! I wonder if he cast it at the darkness. Something about the plague bearer. What? Yeah? My curiosity wanes, I'm already gone. And I need to fly out the window this time. Oh man. We are coming up on the, the end of this particular episode of Yorick, Malkavian Battery. I spent more time in there than I would have thought. Talking to people takes a while, you know. But it was worth it in the end. We got lots of quests. As... Attention whore. Oh, yeah, that's Patty. We got a few extra quests. We got some experience. We got free stat points. That's the best thing of all. Free. Anyways. When we get back, we will be the best thing to do. We'll do something. It'll be fun. People will probably die. Someone will almost certainly be hurt. Most likely me. My flying trout in the moon is melting. Farewell. Vampire.